Okay, here we are. This is April the 13th. And I've started removing the floor. This center section here is where I had removed it before and made the, the drop-ins so I could hand sheetrock and stuff up through the hole. But it's quite a mess to cut this stuff out and carry it all out. So this is basically one day's effort of removing that much of the floor, over half of it, I think. Um, so I took yesterday off, let my back and such recuperate, but today I get back at it, hopefully get the rest of it out and uh, get it disposed of. And then I got a couple of days of cleaning. I got to clean all these troughs out before I can start dropping the sheetrock. That way all that stuff doesn't fall down into her kitchen. And of course I gotta take all the lights out and unwire all that and do all that kind of stuff. But I want to get the sheetrock down no later than weekend after the next. So but within about 10 days I plan on having the majority of the sheetrock down and have this actually opened up. Then I can start uh, deciding which beams I'm going to remove at what times and stuff like that. So. The beams are going to be interesting because I've got all the wires running through them. Let me get over here where I can show you a little bit. But I got whole bunches of wires running through these beams. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is just cutting them about a foot out for the length of these to drop them down until I get those uh, wires out of there and get them all rerouted. I don't feel like doing it. I don't have the time to do that right now this year. It's going to be something I can work on as time goes on, you know, as, as I get free time. But I need to get this thing opened up for right now. But it's, uh, that wiring all has to be taken care of. So that's going to be a challenge yet. The lights, uh, I found the feed for those. And it, uh, I tied in the, uh, the lights in the ceiling for this room to the switches downstairs it's all controlled uh, and it's all fed through that blue box over there I put that blue box in there and made a junction there so I can just disconnect uh, this side of that and that'll kill all the lights in the kitchen now the existing lights in the kitchen and still feed all the lights on the second floor so that shouldn't be a big deal I just need to uh, go in there and disconnect it when I'm ready um, but I want to have the ceiling opened up I'm probably going to open up every other panel, every other uh, thing to get some of the sunlight down in there. And then I'll go ahead and kill those lights and then uh, pull the fixtures out. And uh, so that way she's got enough light to operate in there with. But it's coming along. We're in pretty good shape. Um, like I said, hopefully today the rest of that floor will come out. And then uh, I got a couple other things I got to get done this week that's going to detract from this. But uh, by the weekend, I can get uh, the dump to the run to the dump and get rid of all this wood and then uh, be ready for next week to fill the back of the truck up with sheetrock. So that's where we are.